that's one of my goals for the new year. This is proof. Good, thank you. Good morning. It is officially the lead up to Christmas, or it's officially the last few days leading up to Christmas. I feel so excited, especially when you're hosting. I feel like the last few days leading up to Christmas, it's just so much fun doing all the last minute bits of shopping and doing the food preparation, making sure the house is clean and cozy. I just, I just love it. So I'm very, very excited. And I'm very excited to bring you all along for the whole setup as well. Oh no, my camera's flashing that it's about to die. Of course it is. I'll make this quick. I am about to actually go into PT, which I haven't, I've not been to in, I want to say weeks. It's just been a very busy time for both me and my PT. So I'm very excited to just honestly chat. I feel like it's great having a PT that's also really just a friend. So you can just chat for like an hour whilst working out. Okay, I've got to head up in a couple minutes. Oh my gosh, did B-Real go? As I said, haven't had PT in a few weeks. And I also haven't been strength training in a few weeks. I, if you've seen my last videos, have been doing a couple runs a week and just at home workouts so I feel like this is going to be a bit of a shock to the system <laughs> but I'm excited because I'm excited to just kind of get a good strength workout in there's nothing like a good strength workout where you're just feeling strong and I'm really hoping that I'm feeling strong today <laughs> I'm gonna head on in I'll try and film as much as I can before my camera dies I didn't film anything but this is proof sweating I'm not sure if you can tell by the color of me but since PT this morning I went and got myself a tan because I just thought you know what it's Christmas time I've had it on for a few hours now and I have just gotten dressed. It feels a bit wrong because I haven't washed it off yet, but it's dry. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put on kind of loose clothes and head out. I'm doing something very exciting and I lied to Sam. I was like, I'm just gonna go out and get my nails done. Sometimes boys are silly because he knows that I got my nails done last week. Why would I be getting my nails done again? Although one did break. I was like, I'm just gonna get my nails done. That won't be too long, bye. And he was like, all right, bye. No questions asked. I tell you what, I feel like, I'm not sure if it's just our relationship, like our, both of our personalities in our relationship, but I feel like he's so easy to fool with stuff like this. I'm not sure if it's men in general, I'm not sure if that's really me stereotyping, but I feel like I'm just like, oh, I'm doing this. He's like, okay, no questions asked. <laughs> but I feel like when he's like, oh, I'm going out, I'm like, oh, who with? What are you doing? Where are you going? But he's just like, unbothered, an unbothered king. If you've been watching the past few vlogmases, you've seen him hinting at the PS5 about seven times. I've really made him think that I'm not getting him one, but I had ordered one ages ago, so it has come. I've wrapped it, it's like ready to go. However, we are planning to go to Europe next year together, which I'm so excited about because Sam and I have only been internationally traveling together once. Back in 2019, my 21st birthday, I wanna say, or my 20th? I think it was my 20th. We went to Bali. To this day, we're like, that was such an amazing trip. Like we just, we really, really love traveling together. But my work does involve a lot of travel, which I'm so grateful for. I remember being like 15 years old and saying to my dad, if my job one day contains traveling, I'll, I'll, I'll be stoked. Like I can die happy. That's just my absolute dream. And I'm so lucky and grateful for that. Obviously I do a bit of travel without Sam and his work as well. It's a lot harder to just take time off, but he has applied for six weeks off next year. And we've decided to do Europe together, which I'm so excited about. I just feel like it's something that we're going to look back on for the rest of our lives and like tell our kids about all of our stories, traveling Europe next year over summer. And I've decided, I thought I wasn't recording then and I, Someone looking past, I thought someone was yelling. Um, oh, there's a bunch of young girls. I mean, when I say young, probably 20 years old. Why are 20 year old girls literally terrifying? This lighting is really bad, isn't it? But I've decided to surprise him. He knows we're obviously going traveling and we're going to Europe because um, he's had to apply for the dates off with work and everything. But I've decided I'm going to book our flights as, like, obviously a huge part of his. Christmas present. I'm so excited to give it to him. It's gonna be hard. There's only three days till Christmas. It's gonna be so hard to keep the secret until Christmas. I'm gonna give it to him as soon as we wake up on Christmas morning. <laughs> Cause I just want him to know instantly and then we can start getting excited and start booking things. So I'm gonna go into Flight Center because I thought about buying them on online, but I was like, I feel like sometimes it's just nice, especially cause we wanna make like a few little tweaks and changes in to the route. Thought it would just be easier, more foolproof if I walk into a Flight Center and I'm just like, this is what I'm wanting. I'm also, I kind of wanted like the little flight center or you know like brochure not brochure but like little like envelope kind of thing that you get when you book there because then I can like give him something rather than being like you know it's just a bit more exciting I feel anyway I'm gonna go in I'm sweating and that's not good because 
feel like my tan's gonna be dripping. Damn, I'm very excited though. I travel fulfills my heart like nothing else does. I have a very, a very deep passion and just excitement for travel. I think, um, I'm really just having a good old chat right now. I think to a certain extent, I uh, remember my mum always saying to me that she always really wanted to travel, but never did when she was younger and then didn't have the opportunity whether that was financially or having me to do it and in a way it makes me feel like a little bit and this could sound a bit woo woo just feel like when I travel I'm kind of like yeah doing it for the both of us which feels really special I think that's also why I feel like I have like a very special connection <laughs> to traveling I'm not sure if I'm sounding like an idiot right now but this is kind of my thoughts so booking flights and talking about travel lights me up like none other Wow, that was so exciting. I did a grocery shop as well. The flights are booked. I actually cannot believe, like, I just feel like it's, it's obviously still so long away because we're going in our winter, Euro summer. It's a good six months away. It just feels a bit more real now. I've got to really pull sneak in, not let him see this because if he sees this, he'll know. Thinking I'm going to leave it in my car when I walk in through the door, just in case he's like sitting on the couch and I'm like, what? I've only got three days to keep a secret, so. I can do three days. I kind of want to put it in a box and then wrap it. So even if like he sees it wrapped, so we put all of our presents in the cupboard. Because unfortunately when you have dogs, or at least my dogs, putting presents under the tree is just, it's just not going to work. So we've put all our presents in the cupboard. And then I want to say we'll probably bring them out either late Christmas Eve when everyone's already at the house. Like we can keep an eye on the presents or even very early on Christmas morning. Thinking I'll pop this little flyer in a box, then wrap the box so he has no idea. I can never be like, oh, well, that's definitely flyers. I feel pretty happy with myself. <laughs> I think it's a pretty great gift. Obviously a very special one. I'm just so excited. This put me in the best mood. As much as six months is a while away, it's also kind of soon. Occasionally I'll get on a roll and I'll get a few pieces. I just feel like I'm not getting anywhere. It's in a thousand piece puzzle. That is the seam and I'm not sure if you can tell but there's just so much of the same colors going on and just I'm really struggling. So I'm even close to half of the puzzle pieces. I'm hoping that over the Christmas time because we've got family staying here for a couple of nights I'm hoping that when we just pop on a Christmas movie or we're sitting around just chatting everyone can just be like kind of peeking at it and hopefully by the time of like boxing day we can have finished it because I feel like that'll be so satisfying I've literally been doing it for like 40 minutes I've not found one piece I also as you saw wrapped it in you also would have seen that I didn't wrap it in a box because we had no wrapping paper left. We had like little dregs, like you know when you cut, you just have like little sections. I ended up just using some of that because I was like, what, well, you know. And I feel like from the shape of it, like it's not like very obvious that it's tickets. Anyway, I've got friends on the TV. I'm about to clean the kitchen because you know when you just put it off for like a couple days and you're like, I don't really need to deal with that. And I feel like I need to step away from this puzzle because it's more frustrating than it is therapeutic right now. <laughs> like, there's just so many of the same colors. I don't know why I thought in a thousand piece puzzle would be a good idea. It is about 8 p.m. and we are going to the shops. Yep. How excited are you? Honestly, it's scarily busy. <laughs> It is. Yeah, it's um, it's very busy, but we have a few things that we need to get done. We thought it would kind of be great to get them done tonight and not tomorrow, because we've got quite a packed day getting ready for Christmas tomorrow. You just wanted to come Christmas shopping. And I was just kind of in the mood for Christmas shopping, and there's something about a Christmas shop at night. Like, the, the shops are kind of busy. It's like before Christmas that makes me feel, I don't know, I think I just know everyone's here, like, getting last minute Christmas Christmas gifts and it just makes me feel kind of festive so there's part of me that loves it. I basically convinced Sam to come because we're gonna get dinner here. 
Yeah, the only thing get... that got me here is grilled. Yeah, we're gonna get some. We're gonna get some dins, get a burger, which I'm very excited about, and then get the last little bits and bobs that we need for Christmas. We just need the like homey bits for hosting, really. Also, I kind of want to get a Kindle, so we should start. Wow. Well, it is. It's been nice. <laughs> it's busy. Oh my god. I just want to hear that I'm. Oh my god. So busy. Yeah. 2022. It's probably not gonna be that busy. <laughs> Does gonna be late? Never gonna go. Oh, we'll go tomorrow. No. Shops are open till midnight tonight, though. So I was kind of like, maybe, maybe it won't be that busy. Yeah. I mean, first things first, we're gonna eat because if we don't eat. It's not going to be a good time. Grilled Imagine if we can't get a, a seat. No, we wouldn't be able to. I've gone for the sweet chili chicken. This has been my favourite for a while, this one. And a kombucha. Yeah, a good time when you've got to take this line out. I just feel like the whole restaurant like, looks at you. People just look. Yeah. Probably because I am filming myself as well. I wasn't going to say it, but that thought popped in my head. So I'm so hungry. It's got everything you need in it. Chicken, carrot, tomato, beetroot, lettuce, tomato relish, sweet chili mayo. We've made it to Kmart. Kmart's kind of quiet. Um, it would be a double, I would think. Yeah, it's a double, it's definitely not a queen. I did buy myself a Kindle because I lost mine when we were traveling and I've been wanting one for a while. Plus they were having a sale, so I did get that. And now in Kmart getting some bedding equipment because we obviously, well, you know, obviously, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that one of our spare bedrooms, we have a nice mattress in and that's all decked out. But we've got, how many? We've got five people staying over on Christmas Eve. So Sam's got a little fold out couch in his, what would you call it? It's a little special room. <laughs> <laughs> Special room. That is man cave. And we need, there are people coming, I'm terrified. <laughs> and that bed needs a donor cover. Pillows. <laughs> I'm a bit overstimulated. You'll get flustered off our bed interaction. $4.50, that's quite good. Will they not be very good though? It's, it's terrible. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> average ones? What's like an average cost? $18. Two. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I reckon. We need a trolley. I know, they didn't have it yet. You didn't tell me how to poof. Oh, I like it poof. No. Yeah. It'll be like that. Oh, I kind of enjoy a little. No, no, no. It makes me look like a 12 year old kid. <laughs> Do you feel like that was successful? I think it was pretty successful. I think it was. We're pretty much in and out. Yeah, we, we got what we needed to get done done. We had dinner. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about my Kindle. Yeah? Don't lose it. I only lost it once and it's because it fell out of my carry on. How do you know it did? Because I put it in there and then all of a sudden it wasn't there. I didn't know it wasn't stolen. Maybe, but like, why would you steal my Kindle over my laptop and my phone? Kindle sent have passwords. You've got a point there. We woke up this morning kind of a bit like, oh, we've got so much to do today. Like, whoa, we need to get up, we need to write a list, we need to get it done. All week we have thought that Christmas was on Saturday. Anyway, I'm on the phone to my dad this morning. And he's just like, oh yeah, we'll catch up on Boxy Day Monday. And I'm like, hmm, Monday, that's that's interesting. Like, Boxing Day doesn't really make sense. Oh, that's all right. He probably just like said it wrong. Anyway, we check. Christmas is on fact, is in fact on Sunday. And so we just, we feel like we've gained a day. It was kind of good though, because we got, we got a decent amount of things done today. Like we cleaned out the fridge. But it's just made tomorrow, like the day before Christmas Eve, much less stressful, I feel. I don't know why we had it in our heads that Christmas was on Saturday. I think you put it in my head ages ago. I'm pretty sure you just said. Oh, so it's my fault. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just stopped recording just as Sam wanted to add his little two cents in. Go on then. No, I'm not saying it anymore. No, say it. I just said we got an extra day. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like I've said that about three times. Today is our get 
shit done day. It's also a day where I've not washed my face. I've not changed my hair from how I woke up. I've just got active on and we are getting things done. Sam's currently in Dan Murphy's getting some alcohol for Christmas. The shops are so busy. Even getting a park was near to impossible. He just also sent me a text being like it is crazy in here. I did opt to stay in the car and I'm quite happy about it. So far this morning I went for a walk. I took the boys for a walk. I've done a couple loads of washing, I've cleaned the kitchen, I've made the beds that people will be sleeping in and now we've come out to do our food shop and alcohol shop as well. And yeah, it's, it's quite busy but we really weren't expecting anything less than won't lie. So I was walking past the trolley. Today is Christmas Eve Eve. I kind of think that Christmas Eve Eve is my favorite day of Christmas because you're getting so close to Christmas like work is wrapped up Christmas Eve is tomorrow either Christmas Eve Eve or Christmas Eve is my favorite I think so that is the update I am a bit scared for the food shop we've written a huge list we've got Christmas Eve dinner and then Christmas breakfast and then the Christmas grazing board I have a feeling it's going to be a very big shop <laughs> was in there. Tonight, for our Christmas Eve Eve celebrations, we are... Is it focused? It is now. We are going Christmas light looking, which I'm very excited about. We're in our matching Christmas PJs. I've got a hair mask in, so it'll be all fresh for Christmas. My hair will be all fresh for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We obviously did a huge shop today, but we actually didn't get anything for our food for tonight. So we are like, let's get take And then we're gonna go to Starbucks and get some Christmas in. Starbucks. Yeah. What'd you get? I got a burrito bowl. There you go. Thank you. She is beauty. She is grace. When you're hungry, GYG actually hits very different. GYG hits good when you're full. You want to smash that when you're full? I just mean it's good. All right? It's good all, all the time. You would be stuffed to the brim and you'd want that. Try after Christmas lunch. I'll just smack down a burrito bowl. How do you feel about today? Like, we barely sat down. I sat down for five minutes. Soph was supposed to wake me up this morning. So I've come. No, no, no. no. Let, me, let me finish my story. You're a grown man. Let me finish my story. So last night, I've come to this conclusion that when I set alarms, I don't sleep as well. Because you're like anticipating your alarm low key. So I said, Soph, I'm not going to set an alarm, but we've got a busy day tomorrow. So wake me up. And she said, What time? Nine o'clock. Soph wakes me up at 10.30. And goes, Hi, it's 10.30. And I'm like, because you've just been so tired lately. So we get up anyway. I I'd, and so I'd we're already. You sleep. Oh, you forgot. I kind of did forget. Yeah, that's fine. Then the shops was absolutely. Oh my gosh. I cannot get over how how crazy the shops were. And everyone was obviously walking on with huge trolleys. So you're like, oh, oh, sorry, oh. Oh, you go first. And like you miss something at the other end of the like, supermarket. Oh. So you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, by the way, as well, I hadn't eaten. And <laughs> it was not good. It was. Oh, good. But then we got home at 8 and got straight into cleaning and now it's 8 o'clock and we really only just finished. We were like deep cleaning everything. I took out all the cutlery, wiped the cutlery jaw, took out like the toaster and the everything there and gave it all a big wipe, like a, a decent clean. Moved all the couches, did yeah. underneath, like vacuumed under the couches, cleaned all the pillows, like it was a solid clean which feels amazing to be honest, like our house feels great right now. And we shampooed the carpet. Mm. And we've got a bit more to do tomorrow morning before we head off. And a whole bunch of food prep. I'm making Christmas ham. Mm -hmm. I'm just excited for everyone to be here and like eating the food and opening the presents, like the stockings and like watching a Christmas movie. We hosted Christmas twice now. Was that 2020? Yeah. That was when I did Vlogmas. You're always stressed. <laughs> That's true. That's one of my goals for the new year. Mm -hmm. To implement more structure and routine into my day so I'm not thinking about work all the time and less stressed. So I like goal. it. Uh, have you seen that? There's like people on TikTok that are like, don't ask me why I just thought of this, okay? There's people like recreating like the dance scenes from like Step Up. They're like recreating the dance scenes mm. to show how stupid they look. Really? Like you don't realize they look stupid until you like watch a normal person recreate Try these dance it. moves. And what made you think of that? Today we were saying that from now on. <laughs> what's the movies we were saying? Like we're in a really cheesy movie, like a Hallmark movie. Home Alone. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? What? <laughs> what did you just say? I thought you asked me about. That was classic. You went and see me. You were just like, oh, I'm just gonna take a shot at that. I'm like, <laughs> 
took a swing and missed. Huh? I just heard cheesy movie and was like, am I? Because <laughs> I was cracking up at Home Alone last night. Yeah, we were actually. That was so funny. Number two is hilarious. The bit where he's replaying the, the movie and he's talking about all the guys he's been smooching and he says Cliff and the security guard's name's Cliff and they all look at him like... <laughs> what did what we say? No, we were saying. Remember today, I said something and you started laughing, over the top laughing. Well, like, oh, oh, maybe we should start acting as if we're in like a sitcom. A sitcom, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like say something so basic and yeah. pretend like it's the funniest thing you ever. Heard. Yeah. So we've been doing that today. It's been quite fun. I feel like that's when you know you're going a bit delirious. Also, has everybody's TikTok been this lately? Oh wait, no, that's not the one. Yeah, this. Excuse one. me, bro. Excuse. Sam's been on TikTok and every, literally <laughs> everyone. second video. <laughs> I'm not your bra. Excuse me, bra. I'm just like, oh my god. It's literally a whole feed. Excuse me, bro. Like, feel like you really engaged. You're excused. And he's like, this is the photo that's on my phone right now. On the phone. How's your dinner? Actually, 10 out of 10. <laughs> good, good, thank you. Oh, yeah, I have to pay for it. Yes, thank you. What? And she came over your life. Just do that. I forgot I had to pay. He's doing like an order on the app. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. You, you too. Christmas cups. Excuse me, bruh. <laughs> that one's beautiful. I love a gold light. Yeah, that's a good one. It is merch and a coffee. Last day of my T2 advent calendar. Right, my go. friend is also doing, or also has this, and she texts me being like, have you opened yet? She's got me excited. Ooh, Christmas breakfast. I love a breakfast. Oh, it's got like ginger cinnamon, gingerbread. Oh my gosh, I'm having this now. That's a great day 24. Oh, well, it's Christmas Eve. I went for a run this morning, which I'm quite proud of myself for. Then I took the boys for a walk. I had one of those showers this morning where I washed my hair. I shaved. I moisturized my entire body. I just feel so fresh. We've got a Christmas Eve lunch today. Starting the, the Christmas festivities. And then we'll have to leave lunch, come back, and do the last little bits of prep before everyone arrives. Quickly did some makeup in the car just then. Gave my hair a bit of a straighten. Tried to do a flick down with my hair to kind of make it like accentuate the layers. And I feel like it kind of worked. I'm quite happy with that. We are in the car. We are on our way. Give myself a coffee. Sam's just currently getting himself a coffee and some breakfast on the way. And then we're off to our first Christmas lunch. I'm not sure if the best way to show you but my Christmas Eve dress is one from Dish and I love it. Puffy sleeves are so sweet. It's got a little cut out here and then it kind of goes in and then flows out. So it's very great for a Christmas lunch. Yeah. Sounds a bit hungry. Hangry. Sounds a lot of things. There's a lot of things today. They probably won't feel much at lunch because so one of those things where you're going to families that don't probably want to be on the internet. Probably the next clip you see will be us back at home doing the last minute rush around setting up for everyone to arrive. I also bought this new foundation. It's the Ellis Fuss. Recently heard since I bought it that it's actually a very popular product, but I never actually heard about it before. And I tried it for the first time today and I'm a huge fan. It's really stunning. It's a bit more expensive. I will say that. From what I can see so far, I'm a serious fan. I feel like it's like not cakey, but still really co like enough coverage, you know? I'm quite a fan of that. home now. We have just spent the past couple of hours going around the house, prepping food, making sure everything's neat and tidy. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of a house tour because this makes me too happy. Like, I want my house to look like this all year round. You've seen this a thousand times. I've also put some tins of chocolate. We've got favourites and roses as well. Got a cute little Christmas scene on the TV. Obviously the main event, which is the tree. Got Harvey in his Christmas jumper. Oh, that's so cute. Love the TV decorations. Christmas village. We've gone kind of plain over here, but that's where we're going to be eating, so that kind of makes sense. Look at the stairs. I feel like my house is just going to look so plain when I have to take all these down, but we don't want to talk about that. So you walk up the foliage lit stairs, and you see this village, which I love, with a little candle. And then you walk down here. Bathroom is ready for everyone. 
is his bedroom number one and here we've got a couple of towels two bottles of water and some candy canes which i thought was kind of a nice little touch this is room number two with some more towels water bottles and candy canes and a candle by the way that's not real <laughs> this is sam's man cave office gaming room whatever you want to call it but yeah that is that is the house. I'm so happy with it. I think this is definitely the best I've ever done up the house. And it feels so festive and I love it. Sam has prepped all of the roast veggies, which is amazing. I've prepped some quinoa for a salad I'm gonna make. I think everyone's about half an hour-ish away. Yes. So we're just gonna do the last little bits, relax a little bit, and then everyone will get here. We'll have dinner and then we'll, oh, I haven't showed you the Christmas stocking. I was gonna show you the stockings. We've got five of them, but I just thought I'd show you one. What is in them? They're all just kind of like a little bit fun and personalized things. These are actually my future store cups and straws. I think that'd be quite fun. Everyone's got some Gymshark, obviously like personalized to them. So I picked out things that I think everyone will like the most. That's quite fun. So those are both wrapped because I thought that'd be it'd be fun to have some wrapped presents in the stocking, you know, it makes it feel a bit special. Then we have this little hot chocolate kit. So it's got like hot chocolate, marshmallows, and a candy cane. And we've got a few different types of this, but this is the fox. We've also got a Santa and a polar bear, which I thought was quite cute. A little dessert thing to make. We've got everyone their own Pez, which is a blast from the past. I used to love these as a kid. This is Sam's mum. She's got Wonder Woman and everyone's got personalized. What's everyone else got? We've got Batman, we've got Superman. Shaggy, my brother. Shaggy. Okay. Princess Peach. So we've got some fun ones. We've got everyone their favorite chocolate. Sam's mom's got marvelous creations. I've put in some James Cosmetics eye masks. This is going crazy. These are my favorite eye masks. So everyone's got a pack of that. A little tub of Nutella because we just thought these were cute. I feel like miniature anything is cute. A little shot of alcohol. Everyone's got a different shot. But this is London Dry Gin. And then three little Christmas coins because these just make me feel so Christmassy and festive. I always used to have oh, I always used to have these in my stockings when I was a kid. So that's the Christmas stockings. I reckon they'll be quite a fun little thing. I think we're gonna do dinner first, and then after dinner, we'll all open these. Well, I obviously said I don't have one, but everyone can open these. It's a fun little like start to Christmas. So yeah, I'm so happy with them. I've never done Christmas Eve stockings before. I just think they're quite fun. They're huge. Quite fun. Are you feeling festive? Yeah, really festive. I've got my Santa fight shirt on. Of course. If you know, you know. I feel like I'm really feeling festive today. Yeah. So I'm very excited for tonight and tomorrow. Christmas Day. I'm in new Christmas PJs. Sam's mom brought us all matching Christmas PJs to wear last night, which we didn't actually all get a photo in, and I wish we did. I just love having matching PJs with everyone. This morning we woke up, made coffees for everyone, did presents. Everyone loved their presents, which was amazing. There was so many this year. I feel like everyone just went all out. We put on a massive breakfast. Now everyone's just kind of been chilling for a bit, so I've come upstairs quickly to just finish editing this video because I'm hoping to get it up today. So if my internet decides to work with me today, because recently it hasn't been, I'm hoping to get this up on Christmas Day. If you are watching it when it goes live, Merry Christmas! I hope you all have a wonderful day whether that is spent with loved ones or alone. I know that the holiday season can be really really tricky for a lot of people so my love goes out to all of you. This is going to be my last video for the year and I just want to say the biggest thank you to everyone who has watched even one video of mine this year or if there's some of you that have watched all of them. I genuinely cannot tell you how much it means to me youtube is something that i will always like my favorite part of what i do youtube it'll always be what i come back to it's always like my roots making videos was always my dream and the fact that i get to do that as a career and as a as a job is literally insane and it still just like makes me giddy to think about so thank you all for making that possible because really i know you've probably heard so many youtubers say this before but it's true. You watching are really the reason that we get to do what we get to do and I get to do this dream job. I just wanted to say a huge, huge, huge thank you for all of the love and support this year. Genuinely, every comment makes my day and I don't know, just 
you taking the time out of your day to watch my videos just means the absolute world. I'm very excited for what I've got planned for my YouTube in 2022. 2022? Where am I? 2023. Thinking of changing a few things up, to be honest. So I'm going to take a couple weeks off, I think. Rachel explained it really, really well in one of her last videos this year. I think it was her last vlog. It's not even the filming, really, that you need a break from, but no one is or can be creative all of the time. And YouTube, obviously, is a very creative job. You just can't be creative all the time. So I feel like taking a couple weeks break just like resets you and kind of like sparks creativity I always find when I take a week or two off it just like I get so passionate and feel like I just want to be so creative try different things and work harder on my videos so I'm gonna take two to three weeks off I think anyway I'm gonna stop babbling on because I I feel like I I have talked so much in this vlog and I've edited it and it's, I think it's just about 30 minutes long and I'm like, I feel like I've talked for hours in this vlog. <laughs> so I hope it hasn't felt that long. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I will see you all in the New Year.